Hey Bears, it's Suzanne back with another video. I hope you are having a productive day out there in eBay land, getting lots of things done, taking pictures, getting your listings up, whatever it may be. Um, I wanted to put out some videos about frequently asked questions. Now, yes, there is a lot of information on YouTube answering eBay FAQs. However, um, as a seller for many, many years, I understand that when you ask different sellers the same question, you may get different answers. And that's totally fine because everybody runs their business different ways. But the objective here is for you to find a solution to the problem that you're having quickly and easily so that you can get that problem solved and move on. One of the common threads in a lot of the feedback I receive on my videos and my teaching is that people seem to like the way I explain things. So that is the objective of this type of video is to explain it my way and hopefully that will help you get to your solution quickly so that you can take care of that customer, that eBay issue, and get back to your day. Now as a member of my premium content library, you get me as unlimited email support anytime you have a question. You will get a reply within 24 hours, usually sooner, and I will help you with that issue. Sometimes I will answer your question with a video in addition to an email answer. So that is the case today where we've got um, a question that came in that was also in my Q&A videos um, in the premium library. Every so often I will make a video with a long string of questions from the members and just answer everything on a video or a, um, a voiceover with images so that it can help everybody because if one person has this question others are going to have it too. So let's get into today's video. Okay so we are going to start with Diane. She is extremely new. She's only been selling for about two weeks. So that is about as new as you can get. Um, and um, hasn't sold anything yet, yet, but had her first offer. And it was um, for three mini teapots. And she said she would gladly combine shipping, but doesn't know what that involves. So that's okay. You don't need to know that. Um, <clears throat> basically, when you get a request for combined shipping, you need to go to, to USPS.com and figure out how much it's gonna be. So what you'll need to know from the buyer is like, what, what do they wanna buy? You know, what things are they want the shipping to be combined for? This is if they ask you ahead of time, you can give them a price. Um, so let me show you right now how to do that. Okay, so if a buyer asks for a price quote, on combined shipping or if you have sold several items and you are going to send an invoice and need to come up with a combined shipping price and you want to charge them exactly what it costs you know not price gouge them on the shipping this is what you do go to USPS.com go to mail and ship and then calculate a price and you're just going to put in your criteria here. So it's United States or if you need to choose another country, if they're asking because they're from another country, you can choose the country. Just do the drop down there. Um, what zip code are you mailing from? You're going to put in your zip code and what zip code are you mailing to? So you're going to need to know the buyer's zip code if they're asking you for a price quote because you have to be able to put it in here. So um, I'm just going to put in my sister's zip code and then the date you're going to mail it. So we'll just pick a date there, the time. It really doesn't matter. Just <laughs> fill in the fill in the blanks. That's not going to affect the price. Okay, then you have to pick if you're mailing anything hazardous, live animals, anything like that. Um, requires ground transportation. That would be if it's hazmat, uh, perfume, anything flammable does need to go ground. So in most cases it will not be that. Um, then you just want to go to calculate price based on shape and size. Put in the weight 
Now this is going to be the combined weight, so you have to figure out how you're going to ship it. Is it all going to go in one box together? Um, what size is that box? How much does that box weigh? Are you putting it all in a poly mailer? You know, are you putting it all in a Tyvek? You know, you have to figure that part out. So whatever it is, gather up the stuff, figure out what you're going to ship it in, put it in that box or mailer, whatever, and then weigh it. So let's just pretend that it's one pound eight ounces and uh, it's going to be a package. And then it gives you all of the options. Now, if the customer is wanting a quote, I would just give them two options. Um, don't give them all this because, you know, it's like a Chinese menu, too many options and you just don't know what to pick. So I would choose just the priority, um, just priority mail today two days, you know, what that's going to be, and then if it will fit in a flat rate and that is a good option for them, choose that. But, you know, you may not have all the flat rate boxes on hand. Um, just the priority two day mail is going to be your best, uh, your best choice there. And that's pretty much it. Um, you can also take a screenshot of this. If you'll see at the top here, it says package weight, one pound, eight ounces, mailed on such and such a date from wherever you are to wherever it's going. You can just take a screenshot of this and send that in your reply as um, an attachment and, you know, they'll see where you got this information that you're not just trying to rip them off. So also when your items have sold and you need to figure out how much to charge them, when the print shipping label comes up, the customers, all their items are going to be on there and you can adjust the shipping amount. So most cases you're going to reduce it. This is how you figure out what price to put on that when you are going to reduce the price for them because they purchase multiple items. So that's pretty easy. Okay, so now that you know how to figure out the price for the combined shipping if they ask, um, the next step would be think about do you want to combine shipping on those items and put them all into one box. So in Diane's case, this was three mini teapots. So they could be like this or they could be like this. Do you want to put those three things in the same box together? Is that a great idea? Um, depending on the size of those teapots, I would probably say no, uh, unless they were little, because um, you know, the more fragile it is, the more opportunities you have for a problem. Um, now, when you go to create the invoice, if they do buy several things and you wanna combine shipping, this is not a big deal at all. Um, you, you'll go to ship the items and eBay automatically combines it for you. There's gonna be several things on that, um, you know, shipping label form where you input everything before you print it and like you input the weight and the class of mail, there'll be several things on there. So it's already going to be combined. eBay's already figured that out in their utility to, you know, if it's one person that's bought a bunch of stuff, they're putting it all together on the shipping screen. So you don't have to think, which is great because way back in the day, we had to figure all that out. Um, and then again, you just put in the price because you will have gone to usps.com and figured that out. And um, you just put the price in and send the invoice. So it's, it's really not hard. It's just one of those things where it kind of um, is intimidating until you actually do it because you're like, oh, how does that work? I don't know. You know am I going to do it right? Is it it's going to be a problem? And it's not. So um, if that happens to you uh, while you are in my premium group, just email me. I'll walk you through it. Um, it's not a big deal at all. I'm here to help you. So I hope that answers your question, uh, Diane, about um, combined shipping. Okay, so I would love your feedback on this format. These videos are going to be short, concise, to the point, to get your answer so you can move on. If you feel like you need more help than you're getting from me on my YouTube channel, come to my premium library. I am there for you. That is why I set it up, so that I could be there to help eBay sellers who aren't getting the answers they want from either eBay when you call 
or uh, social media is not real dependable or you're not on social media or you just want an experienced person to be there waiting in the wings to help you if you need it. So um, I wish I could answer every single question with a video answer like this, but unfortunately there's just not enough time to do that. So um, if you are in my premium library, you are the priority and I am here to help you. So give me your feedback on this video and if I should make more. Um, and as always, have a profitable and productive day on eBay. Bye.